So here we in front of a painting called uh, 2017, because it was made in 2017. And it's also a little bit the poster child of the show. You will see it on the boat, you will see it on the banner outside of the building, on the buses. And it's actually the idea of a woman that could be perceived as in distress or in great anguish or afraid. The showing the idea of fear, but in a rather sort of muted way, in a sort of arrested way in the image. One should, of course, know that this image is not a real image. It's not a real woman. It's not a real portrait. It's actually a projection of a face on a doll's head. So that makes it actually completely fake in a sense. But for me, it amplifies, it amplified that specific year in which the most incredible things happened, which we could have never conceived, which would be Brexit, Trump, the, the, the complete sort of idiocy that is propelling itself around us in a sense. And also, of course, the idea of social media that have extrapolized and actually become rather dangerous in a sense. As I use a lot of imagery that's derived from numerous sources, it can be either from drawings I make, watercolors, things I drew, I sort of work through and I alterate through by working with a computer, digital elements, iPhones, whatever. This was taken directly from a sitcom series we call 3%, a Brazilian series in which 3% can actually sort of embed themselves to join the people who live somewhere offshore and are privileged. During this process, uh, a lot of the candidates who are under 30 actually get decimated or killed and only 3% reach their final destination. And one of the tests was actually an image like this, which was a table with several people, with actually the same heads in a sense, but different expressions, and the candidates had to sort of the, uh, figure out what actually happened. In this case, the woman actually finds out she has been poisoned. So that is the, the whole idea of the image. It is also an image that would be mostly my most baroque uh, moment in painting, in a sense, if you would go, this I curated the show of Caravaggio, if I would have had uh, to put one in one of my own paintings, that would be the exemplary painting to put next to a Caravaggio, because it goes in the same element of exaggeration, in a sense. And yet again, it plays with this idea of supposed uh, violence or distress.